are getting ready to put the old girl back on here. You remember that we were using a 7 16th, so we had our bolt just right here. Okay, and that is pretty much the long and the short of it. We know that it is threaded in a regular fashion. Also know that it always, so there's this guard piece. It used to be welded, I don't know. Here's my real question. How did this go on here? Does anybody remember? I don't, I couldn't remember. You know what I'm gonna have to do? I'll go back to the video. Okay, got everything figured out. Went back to the video, figured out this is exactly how things were on before, not stressed anymore. I think that means I had it on there correctly the first time. A lot of thread here. Now the real question, since I sharpened it up so much, do I really want to use my shoe as a stopper? <laughs> Probably not. Nice part about this is we don't have to center it or do anything crazy like that. We just get her set, get her stopped. down. I think it's pretty, pretty well set. I look at these blades that look so high. I don't really understand the way that it's set. Unless I've got the blades on upside down, but I don't think I do. I think I remember I set them in there earlier, but okay. I think we're That piece is set like it's supposed to be. Let's go take this girl for a mow. Experience with the new blades, incredible. This thing's cut so smooth, so clean. Uh, I'm pumped about it. Now, the, the other thing I do want to show everybody is my mole problem, okay? My mole infestation. So, this is what we're working on. So, over here, you can see we've got, uh, we've got a mole problem. You can't see that we have a mole problem. What you can see is a byproduct of that mole problem, okay? You can see the mole, this mole trap in action, okay, and you can you can see what I've I've done about it. So check this out. Here's our mole trap, okay, and you can see that the mole has been coming back and forth. In fact, where I'm standing right now, there's definitely a bunch of mole action, but you can see where it's been tunneling underground. So what we do is we take this guy, set it up, get it ready, spring-loaded jaws, and sit below uh, below the ground and they, they anything as it goes through it triggers it pew, snap so so oh victory 
I know this may seem super gross and super disgusting to people, but that is the bane of my existence. This little mole, this is the second mole that I've caught. I cannot speak highly enough about Tomcat mole traps. These things have been getting it done for me. This is fantastic. I, I can't even talk about like how excited I am with this mole trap. It's doing its job, trapping moles, killing things in a good way, killing it, you know, as they say. So second mole of the year. What a great season so far. I'm so pumped. Like last year out in the front lawn, moles just decimated the front corner of the lawn and it was it was traumatic. I was definitely upset by it. So next thing that we're gonna do, we've mowed the front yard, we're gonna get out some fertilizer. Boom, fertilize the front yard, get things going. Okay, so here's the deal. I did not shoot a conclusion video, but what I do wanna tell you is that I'm super excited about this journey, super excited about you know where we're gonna go, how this lawn is gonna look. I did a couple soil samples today, so I'm gonna get those sent off and I'm excited about it. But again, I'm not a teacher, I'm not an educator. I just wanna share what I'm doing in my lawn with you guys so that you can uh, enjoy the process. So please click the subscribe link, follow, look at the other videos on the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.